At the end of October, the Euphrates Institute held its first ever summit called Our World Beyond 9-11, and it was hosted by Principia College right here on campus. And the whole theme of the conference was Einstein's idea that problems cannot be solved at the same level of thinking that created them. And we wanted to take that idea and apply it to Middle East issues. The genesis of the idea for the summit actually came several years ago when I thought, what if we brought the world's visionaries, the leading thinkers and, and inspiring peacemakers together in a room, in a place, with the question, how can we have the biggest impact on the world for good? So we brought nearly 20 leading experts and thinkers to Principia College for this summit. We had Jim Zogby, he's the president of the Arab American Institute. We had the U.S. ambassador to Algeria, Henry Ensher, Skyping in directly from the embassy in Algiers. We had the head of the American Islamic Congress, Zainab al suwaj We had Israeli and Palestinian peacemakers. We had uh, Iraqis. We had people from all over gathered uh, at the summit to explore this idea of how can we really make significant progress on our relationship between the Middle East and West, and how can we truly move our world beyond 9-11 in a completely different way. So for the conference, there were three sessions. It was inform, inspire, transform. And it's really important that we all get informed on these issues. You know, why is this region so important to our critical interests? You know, the security, energy, religious ties that we have. So once everyone had a base of that information, then we looked at inspiring models. So who are the visionaries and pioneers that despite all of these challenges, in the midst of these challenges, have figured out a way forward and have figured out a model that works. It's just that we don't ever hear about it on our media and on our news. So I, we wanted to bring them here to show people what's possible. And then the last session, Transform, was taking that knowledge and those models and then how do we apply it to ourselves? How do we each become a peace builder and a peacemaker? How do we be, become equipped with these tools and skills to actually go out and make a difference in our own communities, in our own lives, in our own world? I am thrilled with what what happened at the summit. It was just the sense of unity and uplifted thought and selflessness and love and, and truly unity of purpose that was expressed during those two days was palpable.